Hi everyone and welcome to Science Fun for Everyone. I'm Scientist Joe with August's Experiment of the Month. This month we are using dessert to make some lenses that you can use to magnify things. This experiment does deal with some pretty hot water, so an adult can help you out when we start heating up water and pouring it. Start by measuring out three quarter cups of water into a mug and then heat that up in the microwave for one and a half minutes. Now that this water is hot, this is where your responsible grown-up friend can help you. Take your gelatin dessert, like Jello, and pour that into a bowl. Then gently pour that hot water on top of it. You'll see I chose lemon for this experiment because it's sort of a light color. If you get a dark color like purple, uh, then it won't work for your lenses quite as well. Stir your gelatin dessert into the hot water for about two minutes. After you're done stirring, then wait for it to cool a little bit, about ten minutes. We're going to make our lenses by filling up these round measuring spoons. And when they get filled with this gelatin, they'll form kind of a lens shape. If yours aren't perfect circles, that's okay, but they do need to have a round bottom. So I'm going to fill up a few measuring spoons of different sizes with this yellow jello. And because we have a lot of this liquid left, and I'd kind of like to make one really big lens, I'm going to fill up one half cup measuring cup with the rest of this jello. You notice, I put my measuring spoons and my measuring cup on top of a cutting board that has a paper towel on top of it. If I make any spills on here, it won't matter because the paper towels will soak it up. And it needs to be on a cutting board because now I have to move this whole thing into the fridge to cool for four hours. It's been about four hours and this jello is feeling pretty solid. I put a little water into a clear bottom bowl and I got my hands a little wet too. Because to take this out of here, I'm going to need to pull the jello away from the sides of the spoon before gently pulling it out. I took a medium sized lens out of one of those measuring spoons and put it in that bowl with just a tiny bit of water in the bottom. Now I'm going to take this nutrition information, which has some really tiny type on it, and put that underneath my bowl so I can use my lens to read it. If I get far away or closer, it will get larger or smaller. Now you could use these lenses to read newspapers or magazines. Maybe take a picture in a magazine and try to use your lens to magnify it so you can see all the little pixels in the picture, whatever you want. Now remember, we did have a few different sizes of lens, some big ones and some small ones. And on your own, you can experiment to see, does the really big lens make the thing look really big? Does it magnify it a lot more? Try it on your own to find out. Thank you for visiting us this month at Science Fun for Everyone. If you like this, you can check out more of what we do at sciencefun.org. It's a place where you can find science jokes, facts, more experiments to do at home, and information about our in-school field trips and camps at the lab. Hope to see you there. Bye.